Okay, so in this particular video, we're going to be talking about enlargement of shapes on a graph using scale factors and possibly a torch. Okay, so the whole idea of describing the enlargement of a shape on a graph is you need to describe two particular areas. The first one is something called the scale factor. And that should be fairly straightforward from working through the question itself, because really all you're looking for is how much one particular side of the shape has enlarged to the other shape. So let's say if this is two units and this is four units, then there would be a scale factor of two because it's doubled in size. So likewise, let's say this is three units and let's say this is... Um, uh, nine units, then it would be a scale factor of three because it's tripled in size. And what you'll find is, is that whether you use the straight lines, and most people use those because you can read directly from the graph, or you just use the other lines and use a ruler, then the same thing will hold true. If this is three units, this will be nine. It's exactly the same. Um, the main thing about enlargements is that the angles themselves don't change, but the lengths of the sides do. So in this particular case, there's a scale factor of three, and I would expect you to answer that on the exam paper. The second thing that you need to be aware of is something called the centre of enlargement. Okay, now this is um, a little bit trickier and most people will use a ruler rather than a torch to do this. Um, but what we're basically saying is if you can imagine this is a, a massive big triangle, so let's say it's something like a pyramid, and you're stood about there and you've got this torch and you're shining it across. Now, because light travels in straight lines, what you've got is a line that will then match these points like that. Now, I'm very aware that I'm not able to draw this particularly well on the video, but hopefully it'll give you some idea that what we're trying to do is we're trying to work out where this point is, and that point is called the centre of enlargement. In this particular case, it may be something like 1, 11. So the centre of enlargement would be 1, 11. So the two things that you need to be aware of when you're describing enlargements on a graph is the scale factor and the centre of enlargement. I hope that's been okay for you. Please do like, add a comment. I will come back to you. Subscribe to the site. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.